Hey everybody, PD here from the Fuel Cast, back out in the studio, sipping on some good coffee from Stay Golden Roasters, Nashville, Tennessee. This is a Columbia Bean El Progreso. It is delicious, you need to get you some. You know what I'm out here working on? I'm working on my dreams. This is what I've realized, the coronavirus, the uh, COVID-19, the quarantine, all words that have shut life down for us pretty much. Just one foot in front of the other, just trying to make ends meet, just going through the ditch, trying to keep our head down, just trying to decide what's tomorrow gonna look like. And I've realized, my God, isn't this how we've been living? It's just a smaller proximity that we're having to do it in. But how many of you live from paycheck to paycheck? How many of you have lost a job even before the coronavirus? How many of you are unhappy in your marriage or unhappy in what you do around you? All because it's just day to day. You know what the writer said in Psalms 126? He said, when the Lord restored the fortunes to Zion, it was like we were able to dream again. He talked about singing. He talked about joy being in his heart. He talked about happiness being all around because God had set things back in order in their life. What do you gotta do? What do you gotta do to dream again? I want you to dream on. I want you to dream beyond where you are. I want you to dream for bigger and better things. I got a lot of dreams in my life. Let me show you a few of them right now. I've got some dreams in my life. Now here's the thing, if I'm gonna accomplish any of the dreams that I've got, if you're gonna accomplish any of the dreams that you've got, then you gotta be ready for a few things. First of all, you gotta be ready to wait on the dream. Dreams don't happen overnight. If your dream can be ordered on Amazon and delivered to your door tomorrow, then it's not a dream, it's just a purchase. And, and don't get me wrong, some purchases are dreams like an airplane that has to be worked towards, saved for, planned for, but a purchase that can show up tomorrow, that's just a purchase, that's not a dream. You've got to be ready to wait on them. Sometimes dreams take years, sometimes dreams take decades, but that does not mean that it's not a dream from God for you. Second thing that you gotta do, you gotta be ready to work for them. I love Caleb, he goes to Moses and says, give me the mountain. He's in his 40s, early 40s. He says, I can take this mountain. Giants don't bother me, fortified cities don't bother me. I'm ready to work for this thing. And we find him 40 years later saying the same thing to Joshua. He says, I'm now 80 something, but I'm just as ready to take my mountain. I'm just as ready to beat the fortified cities. I'll take on the giants. You just give me my mountain. He was ready to work. If you're gonna get the dream that God's got for you or that he's put in your heart, that you're prepping and planning for, then you need to put your head down and work for it. And when failure comes, when mistakes happen, when things get jacked up in your life or screwed up, you lose a job, you know what, you just get back up. Sometimes a dream has to be put on pause or hold, but you can still have the dream if you're willing to work for it. The third thing that I want you to understand today is sometimes we got to be ready to wrestle with the dream. My dreams over 20 years of marriage have changed where we were gonna live, where we were gonna retire, what house was gonna be our forever home. All those things have changed in mine and Courtney's lives. We've wrestled with them. We've, we've taken a dream from 20 years ago and we've wrestled so that it would fit into today. Sometimes you gotta work at them just cause your dream is not the exact picture it was 20 years ago. That don't mean it's not your dream and it does not mean it's not going to come to pass. If you're ready to put in the work. Listen, you better know something. OPD's in it for you and I'm working for you and I believe in you. Do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a subscribe. And come on, ring the bell so you know when new videos are coming out. Love you guys. See you on the next one.
Thank <laughs> you.